hello guys you're welcome once again to my channel thank you so much for stopping by i really do appreciate you a lot thank you so much guys today's tutorial i'm going to be sharing with you how to perfectly um, cut and sew a kimono apron dress so for the kimono apron dress what you're going to need you're going to need just one yard of fabric and your um tape measure the scissors your ruler to make straight lines and your chunk or maybe your biro or your pencil whatever marking instrument you want to use so once you're done with that the next thing now to do is cutting this tomorrow apron dress you're going to be cutting our shoulder now for me my shoulder is 15 inches so this is my shoulder here 15 inches so that is all what i'm going to be using so from this 15 inches now i'm going to be removing one inch one inch it's going to serve as my sewing allowance all right so now just take to make it very easy and simple for you whatever your shoulder is mark it okay and then mark it down to the length of your fabric so me for this um, kimono apron dress i want i want to use the total length of this ankara fabric that's what i want to use so whatever measurement you have for your shoulder is what i'm going to use for the entire fabric i told you my shoulder is 15 inches okay so that's what i am just marking here i am marking that 15 inches straight down no bust measurement no waist measurement no hip measurement you can see that i'm doing now whatever you have for your shoulder measurement is what you're going to measure all through so and that is it which is 15 inches that i have for my shoulder is what i have measured all through so i'm going to just be cutting that out so now this is what i have this is my front and this is the back so now what i'm going on to do now i want to cut out the neck so i'm going to fold it into two the way i did it like this all right and all right so for my neck now i'm going to be coming down by three and a half inches okay and i'm going to be coming here by three inches so once i'm done with that i'm just going to roll out i'm going to mark out that area so that is for my neck and i'm going to I'm going to come down by one inch for my shoulders loop. i'm going to connect that one inch to that neck design to that neck next okay so i'm just going to cut that out so i've cut out the shoulder slope there so now this is for the front neck i want to divide this into two because my back neck is going to be different from what i have on the front neck all right so i have three inches by three three and a half inches here by three inches because i don't want the neck to be too wide i'm going to do the same thing for the back so for the back i'm just going to come down by one inch at the back and i'm going to come in by three inches here also and i'm just going to mark that out like so so once i'm done with that now i'm just going ahead to cut out the neck for the back there's no need for you adding zipper allowance or whatever to it so for the front neck line now i'm just going to cut this out also that's what i have what i'm going to do next i'm just going to go right to my sewing machine and i'm just going to sew this in with one inch so i'm just going to be folding i'm going to i'm going to go back to my sewing machine now and i'm going to fold this in by just one inch i'm just going to fold it in by one inch like this and i'm going to sew this down like this so when i'm done with that part the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to come to this neckline i'm going to be joining the shoulders by half of an inch so once i'm done joining the shoulder the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to use my bias tape to fold in this neckline all right and to this um to this um hem area and i'm going to fold this hem area by two inches so i'm going to fold it in by half of an inch this way i'm just going to sew that down once you are done sewing that once i'm done with sewing of all those areas that i showed to you then i'm just going to come here now and i'm going to mark my waistline which is 16 inches i'm going to mark my waistline which is 16 inches for both sides once i mark that i'm going to take this strap that i cut off from the side earlier i'm going to bring this out this strap 
I'm going to measure 20 inches. Depending on how long you want your strap to be. For me, so depending on how long or how short you want the strap to be, because I'm going to be using the strap to tie this, to tie it together to your waist, along your waist area. Okay, so this strap now is going to serve as the one for the front. So I'm just going to go ahead to my sewing machine and I'm going to fold it in like so. One, two, and then three. And I'm going to sew along this line. So you can see now I have four straps in all. So one, two, three, and four. So these four straps are what I'm going to be joining to this point. So once I'm done with that, once you um, turn in your strap, like the way I showed you the other time, like so. So once I'm done sewing this, once I join the shoulder, all right, then I'm going to be folding in one inch. Okay, I told you earlier, I'm going to be folding in one inch allowance into it like this, all right? So once I'm done folding, so for the strap, once I've folded the strap this way and I have sewn it down on my sewing machine, I am just going to attach it like this. Okay, it's not going to get to this tip of the clothes. I'm going to sew it like this and I'm going to reverse it like this, all right? So this makes for um, the strap, okay? I'm going to do this for the sides, for all the four sides on your waist area, okay? I'm going to do this for this. Then I'm going to come to this area also for the other side, okay? You know, after I've um, sewn this by one inch, as I told you earlier, one inch, okay? Fold like this, all right? And then I'm going to take my strap, all right? Fold into three like this, okay? And then I'm going to come here, all right? I want you to pay attention to how I'm going to attach this strap. I'm going to attach it like this, all right? It's not going to get to this tip, okay? Once I attach it like that, I'm going to bring it back like this, all right? I'm going to bring it back like so, and I'm going to stitch it also so that once I'm done, I'm going to have something like this. This is how it's going to come out to be once I'm done sewing, all right? So okay, that is all for this kimono apron. That's just all you need to do. That is all about the cutting and the sewing of this apron dress. All right, I want you to um, comment just down below in the comment section what you feel about this kimono apron dress. All right, let me see your design also. Let me see you recreate this. Or I want to recreate this. You can send it to me and let me see how you did that. Okay.